traditional Filipino breakfast for the family. So that is uh, tocino, which is uh, pork, and then it's basically like a marinated uh, flavor. So that's really popular. And then I've got some eggs. And then within that same pan, I'm just gonna fry some eggs. And then also making fresh rice and spam. So I'm off this morning, so I'm able to make the family some breakfast. I started doing my plating. Um, got the tocino, got some fried eggs in here, making fresh rice. That looking good. Hubby is making the spam and then the eggs. I like to cover it uh, so I don't flip it over. But yeah, there's Hubby. Hair's growing. Mm -hmm. Okay, friends. So there's the family ready to eat. Um, there's the Spam, fried eggs, uh, tocino, Filipino tocino, which is marinated pork, uh, common breakfast, and this is your traditional Filipino breakfast. So I'm going to have mine with coffee, but we also have a luau punch because it's more like a brunch rather than an early breakfast. Um, and then there's a community rice plate, and then there's our little small plates. Super easy. All right, friends. Name the group. Okay. Good morning. Sorry. Um. Done. I just got done with my early uh, Zoom meeting for work. Taking Jonathan's car, and it. Friends. It's been two weeks since I po posted, and I'm gonna include this in there because I haven't really been posting because it's been a hot mess friends it's been a hot mess i love this sweater oh my god hold on don't you hate it when like your bra is loose but anyways before i start driving look at this sweater it's so soft okay so super soft and um light like you know some like some of these sweaters can be a bit heavy this one is super light i bought this at airy Airy has become to be one of my favorite shops as well as the girls because one, um, their clothes are like really affordable because they always have a sale. So this this sweater was $68, $68 but it was, I think, no, it was 40% off. And then we have a military discount, so that's 10% off, so it was 50% off. And I bought it for, I think it said 29. I think the receipt said 29. So not bad for um, a really nice quality sweater. And that's the thing with them is that I like the quality. Um, I think they have also upped their game as far as like the clothes, the styles, since they first opened in our area. So I don't know, I don't know how long it's been like around, but I know that it, it opened up at our mall maybe three, four years ago. And the first two years we would go in there, they were mostly like um, bathing suits. That's what I thought it was known for was bathing suits because we were looking for bathing suits for the girls. And that's all they had was just like bathing suits. And then it changed into like so much better. So it's way better than H&M, I feel. It's way better than way better quality than forever 21 for some reason forever 21 just went down the hill because that's where i used to take the girls to get their clothes because one it was affordable and it had good quality but now it's like every time you go to forever 21 it's like clothes what do you call that when it's been ramsacked <laughs> is that what the term is like clothes are everywhere like no one is working like there's just clothes everywhere and plus the quality is not as good as airy so if you guys have an airy you haven't um checked it out go highly recommend it all right friends okay so what happened to me the last time i uploaded 
we lost power. Oh yeah, look, my nails, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, we lost power. We did not have power for three days. Friends, our house is electric. And we are in the Pacific Northwest, North Seattle, and it was freezing cold. I mean, it was so cold. All of us, except for Danielle, because Danielle's um, in college. Um, she's doing um, room and board there. And Jonathan's college, UW, is just like not even 15 minutes away. So he still lives at home. But there was two nights that we all slept in my bedroom because my bedroom has a fireplace, a wooden uh, fireplace um, where we put chop wood. <laughs> Guys, you know I don't, I, I don't do well with words. And then downstairs, it used to be, what did it, used to be an electric fire? No, it used to be a wood fireplace, like where you chop wood and put wood in there. We turned it into a gas fireplace. So we had fireplace downstairs to heat up the house, which the house is about 3,100 square feet. Um, and it doesn't have good insulation. And during the winter, our house is cold. That it was super cold. It was really cold. Yeah, we and then plus there was no light. And you know what hubby said? Every time he hears a siren or you know um, ambulance go up, he goes, "Another, another one got bit." <laughs> like it's a zombie apocalypse. Oh, that hubby. But anyway, so then that kind of bummed me out. There was no power. And then for three days, friends, so what does that mean when your power goes out for three days? Everything in the fridge, I had to go through. So yeah, basically, I cleared out everything as far as um, condiments, cheese, I put into the freezer like that second day, I think, because we lost power. We lost power after I went to the gala. I, I went to a, a gala with Miss Mary and I have I have yet to upload that. So hopefully I can upload it in just one video and just tell you guys. So threw away so much food because I didn't want to take the chance. Anything dairy, threw that away. Anything leftovers, threw that away. Anything open condiments, threw that away. Um, freezer was still good. Uh, what we did was uh, we bought a block of ice when there was still ice we were we had we needed coffee the next day so we went to um, Starbucks and friends I live in Pacific Northwest to where we have a Starbucks every half a mile radius okay there's like 20 Starbucks around me we went to five and each time we passed in and I said okay let's go to the next one because the line friends the line of cars was like a loop-de-loop -loop. it's like Disneyland so we're like, okay, let's go to the next one. The next one, same thing. I'm like, oh my gosh, what are we gonna do? <laughs> Washington people need their coffee, apparently. Um, we don't know how to make coffee on an open fire. Anyways, okay, that fiasco. So that took, okay. So now we're going into like maybe midweek after two weeks of not posting. Then after that, I got stressed because my um, my my transportation job. I'm just gonna call it transportation job because it deals with transportation. Remember how I said that I was um, doing my my bid for part time. I had to bid, and it's like a a week process where you bid for the the time slot that you want, and then hopefully you get what you want. You know want. I was really stressed out about that because I cannot work mornings and I really like my Saturdays off. So I got five to 10, yay, um, five to 10 p.m. So now I got part-time, now I can focus on so many other stuff. I'm just in it for benefits. But, um, and then my days off are Friday, Saturday, and then I have this bid until April, which people are complaining, but I'm, this girl's happy because I get, still get a Saturday and Sunday is usually a relaxed day anyways. So five to 10, that's like nothing, you know. Um, I was stressed out about that and honestly, I did not want, I, I, I was, a, ner like I was a, a wreck. I was so nervous because you're kind of, you're stuck with this bid. And I did not want to get 
like the summer friends i had a shift of 11 to 8 that's the worst shift ever i i fucked up on that one i'm just gonna say it there children cover your ears but i thought it would be a good shift right i'd get off at eight the sun's still out but friends i would wake up during the summer the children needed to be fed well only danica but still and then i needed to you know put stuff uh, you know for lunch for them and then by the time i got so all i did was wake up tidy up make food for the family go to work and then hubby works until two so it's not like he could make lunch and then got off at eight and i was too tired to do anything so i like summer just i i messed up my summer schedule because of my bit okay so this is why i was so nervous all right that was fiasco two okay fiasco three is hubby's truck the brake pads were apparently so bad want to say it's mostly my fault because there was a couple times that I forgot to undo the brakes but I did not tell hubby Shh. um I would drive the truck and then like oh my brakes I, my brakes was not been released oh I did not tell hubby because then hubby doesn't get mad but still hubby should know I'm partly to blame <laughs> but um yeah so we're gonna get that taken care of today drop it off we need to change the brake pads and the rotor because apparently it's been metal to metal and replace the rotor so that's like a thousand a grand right there and what else I think that's about it and it's been freezingly cold like we're it's not raining right now so but if it was raining we could have snow that's how cold it is um, so the only reason that we're not having snow right now is because it's a dry day on my way to Costco oh my gosh Diane 10 minutes into this on my way to Costco it's a Monday before Thanksgiving gotta get all my Thanksgiving food because I'm like I said it's been a fiasco and I have not been motivated so here we go wish me luck but I'm happy to go into Costco with my warm sweater and I, I have to say I look good in this sweater. I look fairly decent, friends. And then the new year, I gotta, I really gotta go into a, a good healthy diet and exercise. With my leg being so broken, oh yeah, fiasco number four. Last night, my leg, I, I'm really having... I need to get an MRI done because I don't know if I don't know what's going on but my my leg really hurts the right leg hurts of the knee inside the bone it's very tender like you touch it and it hurts like it's tender like it's bruised but there's no bruising around it so it inside but um uh, oh, I'm looking at the lotto. I, I played lotto like five times and I haven't checked to see if I'm a millionaire. I could possibly be a millionaire right now. I don't even know. If I win one million, I'm happy. Nope, make that two million because half of that goes to Uncle Sam. Yeah. Whoever won the two billion dollars or whatever it was, just one person, that wasn't right. That, that, that was not right. No one should win that much money by themselves. Okay they should share it with me <laughs> okay um what was i gonna say okay this is it friends i'm gonna go to costco toodles <laughs> all right i'll see you guys in a bit all right friends it's 10 30 in the morning and i am park way out in the boondocks of costco because everybody is here it's going to be a madhouse wish me luck and i'm like this is the end of costco i'm gonna show you guys the beginning okay Costco's way over there. <laughs> this is like the back part of Costco and every single space is taken. This is where this is where nobody parks. Because it's the bad end. I hope that's his car. <sighs> I have a list. In and out, friends, in and out. <sighs> it's gonna be a madhouse. I'm not looking forward to this. Remember when I used to make um, hot cocoa bombs when it first came out and was so popular? Now you can really get them anywhere. Cookies and cream, salted caramel, peppermint, classic hot chocolate for $18.99. That's a good price. If you didn't want to make it, but it's super easy to make yourself. 
$4.99 for a set of two. So I'm getting, you got a thermal inside like long sleeve and then you have your um, flannel. So it looks like that. But the inside, $14.99, you can't beat it. Alright friends, let's go do this. Alright friends, I have been at this store for five minutes. But I got every one of the boys that Danny wants fuzzy socks, 10 bucks. These were $13, which is a cardigan. Um, it's The sale is until Christmas Eve, but they always run out. So one for Danielle, one for Danny. These are so soft Chanel. Are these Chanel? Oh no, just Lucky Brand. Um, $11. Super soft. Like that. And super light. So I got one for Danielle. And then I got one medium for Danny. Um, Jonathan. Oh. Antonio, Danielle's boyfriend. I got me one. And then Antonio's brother. So, I haven't even gotten with us the stuff I needed on the list. It's $11.99 for two pack and you get to pick. So there's almond, cherry. Oh, this is cherry. That's not cherry. Is it? That looks like apple pie. It looks like apple. And then, oh, these are my favorite because it's just like the Starbucks. You warm it up, put it in a toaster oven at Starbucks. But I'm just here to look because we all know I don't need it. Getting the fresh ones to that bag. And then ham. So I want to get the smallest one because we just need a small one. Huh. But then again, I can always squeeze it. So. Uh, Alright, 40, 38. Oh my goodness. I gotta look for something that's small. 39, 41, I think 38 was the smallest. Where's that? 42, where's my 38? Okay. Little oh, friends. Oh my God. Oh. Okay, staying on my list. Oh, where's my list? Asparagus, turkey, ham, pumpkin pie, bread, peanut butter, Hawaiian rolls. Okay, almost done. It's so hard to push and, and film. But um, these are perfect gifts for clients. So I bought, let's see, $21.99. I bought 20 of these uh, to give to clients. And you don't have to wrap it. And they're good cookies. So these are the cookies that I try to imitate. Um, that's why it's pineapple, um, pineapple shape. But these are made of macadamia nuts. And... Um, Danielle can't have these. She's allergic to macadamia. But, great gifts. I think I should buy more. Friends, just like that, $287 later. <laughs> Where is it? $287. Right there. Don't mind my nails. I can't afford it these days. <laughs> okay, I had I just had an experience I'm sorry I was going to Jonathan's car I'm putting my stuff away and when I went there there was these cars that was blocking that was blocking the there was these carts I was blocking Jonathan's car and it was like two rows like I don't know if it was customers or if it was an employee that was putting the carts away and and uh, and I had to move the carts my uh, myself and I was okay I just moved the carts he was literally blocking half of Jonathan's car so I couldn't back up so I had no choice but to move it that wasn't the problem I, I just moved it I was looking around for employees because I don't know if they were 
in the middle of kind of, you know, getting the carts and putting it at the front of the store or... <sighs> or or just like random people that just kept piling it up so I said I and then when I was almost done putting stuff away I saw a worker a guy worker and during the holidays Costco Costco gets people away from certain departments to help out because it's three days before Thanksgiving and oh and the guy goes I go excuse me this is exactly what I said friends I said, excuse me, I go, I don't know if it was you or somebody else, but um, I go, these carts right here, these row of carts are blocking people's car because it was blocking mine, and then it was blocking the car next to mine. And then I said, but I went ahead and moved it, but I couldn't push it anymore because it's it has like a, a metal thing to where it blocks it. You can't put it through, you know, the cart thing. And then he said, uh-huh, cool. That's what he said like he was on drugs like uh-huh cool and then i said okay i said okay i go um but it's still blocking it so i'm gonna try to maneuver around it he goes okay cool i'm like excuse me he said what i go i i go i don't know if you understand he goes oh i yeah i probably don't understand your language what the fuck is that supposed to mean and that's exactly what I said. I'm like, what is that? What the fuck is that supposed to mean? What do you mean you don't understand my language? I'm like speaking in English, telling you, and then you're just... <laughs> and I'm just crying in the car because I... <laughs> What does that mean? What does that mean? All right, friends. Um, a bit better. I went home, put the groceries away, and then um, picked up Danica. Danica has a parent teacher conference meeting, and basically, um, she doesn't know what happened. Just that mommy had an incident at the parking lot. Uh, I don't want to have to explain. Um, explain, mom, please. Explain at such a young age um, of people, um, because we always we we always look at the the brighter things of life and don't teach them negativity. You know. Um, anyways, I don't know. Oh look, that's the kind of car that mom wants. I want one like that, that Jeep. No, the one that has a, like a truck. Jeep. Mm-hmm. What about something simple? Uh, so I thought Jeep would be simple. Mm. No? What about a Hawaiian car? A Hawaiian car? I don't think there's such a thing as a Hawaiian car. There's something of your old Jeep, your oh. old car. Yeah, my other one, my SUV. So um, I did call the the store and I said, if the person has uh, a disability, I don't want them getting in trouble. Um, I don't want them getting fired for it, but they do need to be trained of certain things not to say. Like you don't say that to somebody. I'm a lot better now, I'm okay. But when it happened, it just, it broke me. You know, it just broke my heart to hear something like that. So, all good. All good. All right, Danica. Dad's coming. Dad got caught in the ferry. All right, friends. You want to say hi to our friends with your new glasses? You want to show them your new glasses? Ooh, Danica's new glasses. Doesn't she look so cute? She got a recorder. Yep, her new gloves. Oh, her old gloves. Friends, thank you. All right, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.